Good morning. Welcome to the CBS AM debrief. I'm David Kuhn. It's uh, Thursday, the 12th of August. Um, over, overnight market action in the US. Uh, we saw the Dow um, suffer its worst day since June 29 of this year after the uh, Federal Reserve uh, stimulus plan uh, increased um, suspicion worries uh, about the uh, economic recovery in the United States. And uh, that saw it down 265 points, or 2.49%. Uh, most of the rest of the markets uh, followed suit. So let's uh, let's take a look at exactly what those numbers were. Uh, with the S&P 500 down a little bit more at 2.82%, and the NASDAQ uh, even more so, 3.01%. Uh, in Europe, uh, similar sorts of numbers in percentage terms. Uh, FTSE 2.5, CAC a little bit more at 274, and the DAX at 2.1% down. Let's take a look at uh, where things are likely to uh, open this morning. And we're looking at uh, another 80 points here off the S&P 200 to uh, 4,351. Hang Seng uh, 100, down 150 and the Nikkei 110. Take a look at what's happening in commodities. We saw uh, uh, crude, both uh, Brent and West Texas, sold off uh, fairly strongly here with uh, Brent at 77.64, down 2.5%, and uh, West Texas Intermediate at 77.31, which is down uh, uh, less so, uh, 71 cents. Uh, moving down to the softs, uh, coffee at 172.35, corn at uh, 4.11, cotton at 80.90, uh, oats at 282, which is down 2, rough rice at uh, $10.71.5, which is down 0.12.5, uh, soy was, what's my place here, but soy was at one a uh, ten dollars fifteen and a half so down six and a half cents and uh, sugar eighteen dollars twenty six down point three wheat was uh, at seven hundred and twenty five dollars uh, cents rather per pound down one point three quarters and wool was at nine hundred and twenty five cents per pound up seven cents copper at three sixty two was down half a percent and gold was at twelve hundred and seventy down one and a half dollars. Silver at seventeen eighty eight and a half was down point zero one seven. Have a look at the cross rates now. Uh, US dollar was up strongly, so we've seen the crosses all come off. The euro now at one point two eight four four, the pound at one five six four zero, the yen at eighty five and a quarter, the Aussie down in, with an eight in front of it at eighty nine forty two. And uh, the Swiss franc was 1.0604. A look at the economic calendar now for uh, for today. We've got some uh, business performance uh, manufacturing index data out of New Zealand, followed by employment numbers here in Australia, with the uh, forecast figure to be 20,000 jobs and the previous was 45,900. So more uh, subdued uh, forecast for jobs numbers there. And the unemployment rate is expected to stay the, stay the same at 5.1%. And then we have Japanese consumer confidence data out at 3 p.m. Not too much change expected there. And then some more European data out later on this afternoon on industrial production month on month and year on year. And then uh, some US import price index for July. The uh, forecast there is for that to be 0.3 of a percent. Previous was negative 1.3. Let's go and have a look at the Falcon now and see what's happening there. So um, just doing a, having a little bit of a look here at uh, our light suite and we can see that we haven't yet broken through this 
trend line that goes back to May, and we can see that comes down to our Fibonacci level of the 618 retracement, down just a little bit above 75, so between 75 and 76 dollars. That, to my eye, would um, would seem to be a possible level of support, um, but certainly uh, we have broken down through an inner upward trend line, which we could follow that line there. So uh, perhaps got a little bit of a way to go yet, but it looks like we're now back in this trading range between seventy and eighty dollars um, for now. The local index, I think we, or I said um, probably last week that uh, we could possibly see a bit of resistance at this 4600 level or thereabouts and uh, certainly that's, uh, that's panned out. And uh, obviously we're now eyeing this uh, level down here around 4150 as next uh, major level of support. So uh, we, um, we need to be prepared for that and uh, possibly looking for uh, positions that we shouldn't be in and uh, looking at some shorting opportunities. Take a quick look at the rough price contract. And seem to have certainly found some support here, but uh, uh, grinding slower very, very highly here, so it's a little bit of an anxious wait right now for people with the rights warrant. Um, keeping in mind that uh, it's still got plenty of time to run. Tabcorp is a, is a trade that I've mentioned a couple of times in the last uh, two or three weeks, and uh, we had some clients that have got into that short. Uh, unfortunately, most of them got stopped out, but I've still got a handful of clients who, uh, who held on, and uh, they have been uh, quite well rewarded here on the back of that uh, getting sold down expect to start seeing a bit of support around this uh, sort of low sixes level, but uh, we'll see what happens. Happy to continue to hold that position, particularly in light of uh, what's been happening in the markets in the last 24 hours. Take a look now at the Aussie dollar, where obviously, as I said before, in the uh, 89s there, and uh, haven't quite broken through this longer term uh, upward trend line, um, but in the closer or in that upward trend line we certainly have. So um, a little bit hard for me to um, suggest where that uh, where that might find its next level of support. There's a little bit of perhaps uh, tentative support there and then uh, maybe around this 88 level. Um, but uh, as I say, a little bit difficult there. Uh, let's take a look at the US dollar index. You can just find that. And you can see that that, uh, that trend now has um, been broken, which goes back to June. And uh, the reasoning, of course, in, in most of these sort of panicky situations is that people uh, like to take uh, safety in the, or take flight to the pursuit of safety of the US dollar. And uh, I guess that's exactly what's happened here. So, um, we probably want to be short most of the other uh, currency pairs whilst this uh, this keeps up. Um, I think that's the uh, the major uh, major instruments in the Balkan that I, that I wanted to cover there. So that'll probably uh, probably do it there. Um, yeah, I think I've covered the uh, covered everything here, or as, as much as uh, is relevant for today. So. Um, well, good luck out there and um, all the best. Uh, strap your seatbelts on and uh, we'll, uh, we'll speak again very soon. Thanks as always for your attention.